I think people who can solve this problem really know what they do in the web. Here is the problem. We have everything aligned and our red boxes are just the block that has background color of red width and height and object fit cover. What if I will change this just regular blocks on the image? Let's check this out. I go here and I change all of them on the image. And I'm wondering what will happen. Reload this. And as you can see, if we will take a look, the images are overflowing our flex container, even the parent one. And that's insane. Now the question is, why does it work this way? And if you want to know the answer, hold on with me or stick with me. Um, you know, you can you can take a look at it and I'll leave the source code in the description and you, you can try to solve it in your own and then check the solution. But now I want to actually explain why this is happening. If you will go over here, um, let's actually return everything to the blocks because I want to show you the structure. So this is how it looks like with the block with the red blo blocks. Um, we have our flex that goes as a row. Um, so the flex direction is row. Then inside of it, we have two childs. One of them with a 50% percent, and the second one is with a 50% too. The difference between them is the second one is that the second one has its height on 20 RAM, okay? And the reason why we did that, because we want to fit those, uh, you know, blocks, blocks inside, inside of it, um, of its actual height, okay? So what we did for that, we created, we've created two flags inside our second flex container. And we said that here is going to be some random text. And the second one is going to be our image, our blocks, okay? And we said blocks with the version of one that set them height 200 and width 200. Um, if we wouldn't do so, they would go out for sure because the height of them is 20 RAM and that doesn't fit anyhow with our, you know, flex. And that's why we said the flex is going to be, um, you know, height of 20% and then they're going to fit inside so that they are perfectly fit and perfectly aligned with the bottom line. And this is the basic structure. Now let's come back to the uh, to our images. And this is how it looks like with the images. The images go out of the border and they don't care what is going on here. I thought we set the, their height and width as well as with the previous ones to 100 and 100. Nothing changed except we changed them on the images. So we, we changed divs on the images uh, with this path. Now, and here's the issue. So we won't go around and try to, you know, uh, really think about it. I will really show you the issue, what causing it. If you will go to this block, you will notice that the height of it is 100%. Now, here's the question. What is overflow of this flex? By default. Tell me by default. And the overflow of this flex um, is unset. It is unset, okay? And here is the th here's the trick. If you will set it to anything except and set, that is going to work perfectly, perfectly fine, and they're going to fit just in a second. Look, take a look on this. Outer, hidden, overlay, scroll, visible. Oh, visible. Okay, okay. So basically, by default, we have we have visible or inherit or initial or revert or revert layer or whatever. But if we will put them on the outer or hidden or overlay or scroll, that is going to work perfectly fine. But because it is visible, what happens is our min width is set on outer and our min height is, a, is set on outer. And this is the, the what what is actually ca causing it an issue. Because when our overflow is visible, our min width and our min height are alpha for our flex. Because flex has the property of those as an auto. But if we will change overflow on hidden, 
that won't have it auto anymore. Now, if I will check these boxes right now, that is not going to work and they're going to go out because we will change their, you know, their value right now for hidden. So if I'll put them back again, um, and if I'll say important, and then if I'll say important, nothing changed though. Um, that's really fine though. Uh, but this is, this is how it is. Um, so probably, probably I just, I, I have to say that they're 100. And that, yep, so, so if we will say that they're 100 or they're auto, that is going to happen again. But if we will uncheck those, overflow is going to work perfectly fine. So again, the problem was, is that if overflow is default or unset or inherit or initial or visible, that means that our mean width and mean height are auto or either 100%. But if we will change our overflow on hidden or scroll or, or, or whatever else there is, that is going to change mean width in mean high on zero, zero and zero. And now you might say, now, why is that the case at all? Because like, cause like, why does it affect it to go out? Why does it make images to go out? And the reason why is because when we say the height and the width of the images are at 100 percent, that makes this overflow or flows out of the content because that makes min width and min height the same as the original dimensions of our images. And uh, that is the main issue. So, so basically, when our min width and min height are auto, they say, since we're auto, we're going to look at the child and check what they are. And when we set height and width for the child uh, to 100%, 100%, that makes the image with the original dimensions, or what I would say with the original aspect ratio, okay? So it makes the original aspect ratio. The original format would be, if I would set it width to auto. Um, so so this, this would be the original one. Um, but, but still, so I think you get the point. And when we say that overflow is going to be hidden, that set min width to zero and that set mean height to zero. And in order to prove this, I will now remove overflow. And as you can see, nothing changed because this is what it is. And if I'll say overflow visible, nothing is going to change because our mean width and mean height are now zero. Okay. If I'll remove them, overflow visible or unset or something else will make them defaults means to auto or 100%. That makes that will make these images go out of the borders and overflow the content. And this is it. Thank you.